You know, a big ticket item like a new TV comes all boxed up and you assume it's new, but one Wiley woman says she was shocked with what she found inside the TV box. When I got the TV, there was no seal on it. Besides no seal, Deja Lee Gonzalez says there were bigger problems with her new TV purchase. When I plugged the TV up and I noticed it was all broken on the screen and it was also in store mode. And that's when it became a really big problem. A big problem because Deja Lee says she just ordered the TV through the Walmart app and picked it up curbside. This is what they brought out to the car. So was it open like this or what was it like? No, so it was closed. This brown part was at the bottom. There was two zip ties around the TV and they brought it out and they had three young boys loaded up into my car. It wasn't until Deja Lee and her sister got the TV into their new apartment and unboxed it that they say they noticed all of the problems. I called them immediately, I let them know this TV is broken and it's also in a store mode. And they told me, okay, bring it back to us, we'll figure it out for you. But once at the store. They told me this is not the correct TV that we have given you. And I'm like, so when I hear that, I'm like taken aback. That's when Deja Lee says Walmart pointed out the TV had no serial number on it. And it was not the TV that was supposed to be in the box. That's when they started to let me know that this is impossible what you're saying. Either you switched the TVs and you brought them back because there's no way that we gave you a, a brand new box TV with the wrong TV in it. They informed me that I have to take the TV, that it's once it has left the store, it's not their problem anymore, and to call corporate. But Deja Lee says corporate directed her back to the store. Deja Lee got in touch with me and Walmart provided a statement that said, we have been unable to confirm that the television in question was replaced with a different model before being delivered to the customer. However, our customer care team plans to follow up with the customer. Deja Lee talked to a different store manager at a different Walmart. He just basically issued the refund for us and he apologized. He gave us his phone number. He sent us texts. He was really apologetic. With the full refund, Deja Lee did end up buying a new working TV and says now she always checks well, purchases before leaving the store. Time. Definitely going in store, communicating and just making sure everything is boxed the way that it's supposed to be boxed. Yes, you really want to check the box for any big purchase before you check out. If it's curbside, get out of your car and examine what you bought. Make sure the serial number, the barcodes are all on the box, not tampered with. If there's ever any question, don't be afraid to open the item in the store in front of an employee.